Hello everybody, welcome back. I just got back from seeing Prometheus. And you know, as the saying goes, in space, no one can hear you scream. For those of you who remember the first movie, I certainly do, Prometheus is in some ways a prequel and probably in some ways it is also a sequel. If you are a fan of intelligent sci-fi movies, then Ridley Scott's Prometheus is the right one for you. Now, Ridley Scott waited really over 30 years for the right storyline, the right script to make a follow-up to, of course, the first wonderful classic blockbuster film called Alien. Now, this, of course, this movie does deal with aliens of a sort and, you know, something like that. I don't want to give it all away. I just got back from seeing it. It's it's very, very, very early here in the morning. Um, I'll be going to bed soon, but I wanted to uh, talk about this briefly before I go to bed. And hopefully I won't have any nightmares. If you are a fan of this type of movie, definitely it's for you. It's a movie that is grandiose in scope, epic in nature. It'll definitely make you think. It looks wonderful. Really, Scott really is, is, is a master of visual acuity, meaning, you know, what you see is, is so, it looks so real, and it's meant to be real. It's, it's the, the, the cinematography, of, you know, all the elements work together to make a visually stunning beast of a movie. Now, the movie does answer some questions as pertaining to the very first movie, but then there are other questions that are <laughs> thrown in the movie and other questions that really aren't answered. Uh, the movie at times is a little bit hard to follow. Not much, but just a little bit. I did find the one thing that was somewhat uh, odd or disappointing, if you will, there wasn't really much to, to disappoint about Prometheus, but the one thing that really kind of stood out was the music. In certain spots of the movie, the music just doesn't quite really work. Now, when you, if you go see the movie, you'll, you'll know in the spots where it definitely does work. But it, in some of it, it was, I don't know, there's really, it, it really wasn't, the uh, movie soundtrack as a whole, for me at least, just is not memorable as the first one. And it's, and it's really kind of strange, which I guess is appropriate since, since this is a strange uh, sci-fi movie. So I guess everything fits the way it should. What can I tell you? But in terms of a movie that is worth your time, a movie that is in some ways intelligent, hard to follow, and, and in some scenes, in one particular scene, it is completely, utterly disgusting. But at the, at the same time, it is, it is a necessary scene that is entertaining and satisfying to watch, again, strangely enough. But check out Prometheus. It's definitely uh, worth your money. At least it was for me. Uh, the movie will keep you hooked to your seat. When you go see the movie, don't take a bathroom, a bathroom break. You will miss something. So there you have it. My quick review of the new sci-fi classic, soon-to-be sci-fi classic Prometheus. It's a movie that answers some questions and really <laughs> gives you more questions but as far as some of the question answers the answers are basically oh wait Ooh, what's that feeling in my stomach Ugh. I gotta go bye <laughs>